Hey everyone, just want to let you know that unfortunately there will be no camera footage for today's podcast. The hard drive that we were recording to got full halfway through, I didn't realize it, and it corrupted the files. There will be camera footage for next week, but for this week it's just going to be the same as it was before the cameras. Sorry for the inconvenience. What episode are we on? 17. 17? How do you guys know this? Because we pay attention to our own show. Because I sat in the comment sections all week. Oh, true. (laughs) Talking about that Franken moose. Okay, well, whatever. Welcome to episode 17, mm-hmm, Big Boys mm-hmm. Podcast. Hi, how are you? Shout it... out October 17th, 1995. That was Drew's birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. I was like, what that date's date so particular. It has to mean something special. Yeah. This is the, it's Stay coming out on New Year's. Year's. New Year's. Merry yeah. Christmas, Ooh. everyone. Day. Yeah. Happy day. Hanukkah. But coming, wait, the Feliz New Year's Navidad. Eve is tomorrow, right? Yes. I don't understand how this is difficult. It's coming out well, on Wednesday, just, Rob. I just like, do you guys ever get in that like state of mind yes. where you just lose track of what day it is and you go yeah. strictly by like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? And you I don't lose, know where like, I am right now. Yeah, literally. I had that happen with Annie on Friday. She messaged me, she's like, okay, have fun on the podcast. I'm like, <laughs> Annie, it's Friday. <laughs> she's Yikes. Like, oh my God, it is. It's not Monday. It's, Friday. it's like, you lose, I lose track of like what like number day it is. I just like go by like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, but, but that's fine. But then even then, sometimes I'm like, is it Monday or is okay, it like, that's not Wednesday? Good. Is it December or is it Happens March? a lot in exams for me. Yeah. Or it did. When you're like grinding out a bunch of studying for like exams or I'm something. I'm surprised it honestly doesn't happen to Drew every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he's really focusing on the date. So like Pri it's would, like. Brie would be like, hey, we got we got an exam on the third. And I'm like, I, I don't know when the fuck that is. The third. <laughs> what is that? Like a day? Is there something I can eat? Yeah. <laughs> January, December. Who knows? Where you had to carry your sorry ass through school. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Drew carried me through school for a bit. True that. I hey. carried him through a course. And then you ended up dropping out. So yeah. yeah. I guess so that, it was all, it was so all it moments. Shows. Does that say more about Drew or does that say more it's about all you? Drew. Drew is an awful teacher. Correct. If, I was a great fucking teacher. If Drew had carried you even farther, would you have stayed in school, do you think? No. Probably not. Well, it was just no. the one course. It was a math course. Yeah, it was an elective it. for me. <laughs> no, fuck, fuck no. Fuck math, dude. But I also gave you your major. True. I which I also dropped out of. Yeah, fuck. Wait, you didn't drop out of Drew's fault. No, you passed that course. The math one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. No, but around the way, it just always comes back to being Drew's fault. Out of my major, I dropped out of my major. Yeah, yeah, but you passed the course I taught you. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Well, so we wanted to talk, or we mentioned last week, we wanted to talk about our predictions for 2020. Predictions and... Yeah, so what are we predicting? Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, the one that me and my friend... You guys group, don't have yours prepared? How many Pez's I'll take in a year? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> me and, and how many Pez you'll eat? <laughs> so me and my other friends normally do like, who's going to die? Um, like any other... No, that's very famous mor- people. That's a morbid Sky. prediction to do. I don't know. Our nasty seven twenty is pretty famous. Pretty famous. <laughs> people are sending me like Shrek memes every day. On this <laughs> show, so. You made it. Um, I don't know what else we do. Oh, wait, we normally do like Oscars, but I don't think we... Who really, the fuck cares about the Oscars? Shia, Shia LaBeouf yeah so let's do deaths let's do uh what can we do like games? births births yeah maybe there'll be a maybe Drew's biggest gonna, game of 2020 Drew's gonna have a kid this year whoa Freaking, <laughs> is this true yeah we'd have to get started early <laughs> yikes <laughs> just gonna motor off to burlington tonight now <laughs> happy new sure. year <laughs> <laughs> um so deaths let's say what we think will be the biggest game mm-hmm Oh, um, like, like video game yeah easy answer i already know mine what too. other what <laughs> anyway <laughs> next leaf stanley cup final game seven yeah no cool let's say hold on every let's predict it's like stanley cup super bowl yep 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 i got my stanley cup prediction not the leafs you, it's not a real prediction literally anyone but the leafs it's still not a so real prediction the bruins i guess you gotta say the no. field. <laughs> oh, that's fair that's, <laughs> ah, that's a, he's got a real one <laughs> fuck he's who, got who, one what city Boston. Oh, there you go. Fuck. It really we've been hurts. through this. I know we've been there too. Uh, <laughs> all right, and then anything else we can just come up with on the spot? Yeah. Because right. I can't how many? How many else. new Under Armour hats Robs will buy? I don't know. This one's beat to shit. At you least two. See. Yeah. Well, this is my gym hat, so I didn't want to wear my new hat and get a little sweaty and salt stained. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to dress mm-hmm. up for you guys. Yeah. Hey, I wore a Star Wars shirt because uh, you got to talk about that later. I saw Star Wars on Friday and it was good. Well, we'll talk about it later so you can get into it. Maybe, maybe. But we can get into predictions. Who do you think is going to die in 2020? Shia LaBeouf. Betty White. Betty White's going to die? She's like 98. Yeah, she's going to hit 100. I think Don Cherry's going to die, if I'm being honest. Now that he a, doesn't have a show, yeah, he's like, nothing yeah. to live for. That's anymore. a good one. Yeah, I think Don Cherry's gonna die. I think, I think like an 
like an ex U.S. president's gonna die, like George Obama. Bush maybe. Obama's still too young to die. Hold on, does does a uh, does a uh, um, DT he he become Trumpy? So if he doesn't win, he becomes not the president in January. He's gonna win, right? I think, though. Of twenty twenty one. Right. Okay. So we can't say him. No. You know no. what? DT, let's go. I think that. Like, again, you think he's gonna die in twenty twenty? So. As a neutral bystander, I think he's gonna win the election again and get reelected. I think you're yo, right, and I hate it. Six nine when he gets out of jail. Six nine's gonna get shot in the head. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, yo, yeah. He's, he, he's is done. He's gonna make it out of jail. <laughs> he's yeah, done. Well, yeah, yeah. He's, it's like he gets out in like this November. Someone's gonna so choke him with his chains. Six, That's nine. all I got. Well, like the thing is, you can always chalk up two or three rappers that are just gonna die from a drug overdose or something. Kendall yeah. Jenner, maybe. Whoa, a Kendall Jenner. Now yeah. that would be a fucking. She's gonna get. She's gonna get neck Botox and it's gonna choke her. Yeah. What? A neck Botox. Who knows? Who, are you? who knows? It's like a boa constrictor. Who knows what they come up with these days? Who's uh, what you come up with? I'm trying to think of like many things. Who, who you, whose death do we think would just like stop the entire world? Because people die like all the time now, and people are saying, "Oh, that sucks." Thoughts and prayers. Move on. I, I think it would take like you. M- well, I don't want to think about myself. Dalai though. Lama. It would have to be someone no. that has affected I'm me, and there aren't many. So. Yeah, I'd say like if Obama died somehow, that would like stop everything. What about Gandhi? That would probably be like a damn like that's a wild moment. Damn, damn dude, is he alive still? Even he's no. been dead for a while. He's he? long <laughs> dead. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, he was like he was alive during like the 1940s. Man, he's alive in Civ still. Yeah, come on, man. I need to look. Up. I'm pretty sure he died like the I'm 1960s. pretty sure Gandhi's no. Gandhi's 100 dead. No, he's 100 percent dead. He's 100 dead. Dalai Lama. Yeah, that's he's still thing. kicking. The Dalai Lama. Dude, was did still you know? Kicking. Did you know yeah. it's gonna be the last Dalai Lama ever? Yeah, yeah, I watched that episode. Gan- <laughs> Gandhi was born. <laughs> yes, <in> theory. <laughs> he, he shares a birthday month with you guys, October second, eighteen sixty nine. Sixty nine. Let's go. The sex number. Yeah, he's still but, dead. Yeah, he died in nineteen forty eight. Wow. You never know. He's like Close Tupac. Enough. Tupac. Yeah, it will make a hologram of him. This year will be Tupac's like, yeah. rebirth for sure. Yeah, maybe this is the year that we discover like there's a secret island of everyone who we thought was dead, but they're just like Michael Jackson, Jackson living or there. a secret yeah. planet, a planet. Wait, the so aliens what's your prediction them. then? I already said uh, it's an old president, probably George Bush. I think is gonna die. That's gonna be yours, okay? Yeah. And you said six nine. Six <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> oh, you said Betty White. I thought you said Don. No, Trump I first. said Don Cherry. No. Oh right. Yeah. Oh, that is good. I okay. think uh, so look, if I have two, it's Shia LaBeouf and DT. Okay. My second is Manny. <laughs> oh, Manny, oh, who's Ben, that? cover your ears. Okay, who's so, Manny? You know Ben from the community. Yeah, yeah. So he, he got has... the kidney stones, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 guys! His dog. Come on. He uh, he had a dog, like a pug named Manny. Keyword had had, mm-hmm. and we would always make fun of him because it's, it's a fucking pug. They're awful. they look like ugly they're, little shits. Just, they're, uh, the, they're the ugliest <laughs> animals. Yeah, you could hear it like dying in the background every day. He's like, oh, it's just breathing. Guys. It's just eating my garbage. <laughs> but anyways, maybe his dog had kidney stones too. Oh. And then apparently, what was it? Like he had like emergency leg surgery because his legs got his, paralyzed. But he had a yeah, disc, one of those... spo- like, disc in his spine and then got infected. You know, you know those dogs that look like mini horses in carriages. Yeah, yeah, and many water buffaloes. <laughs> so basically, he died. Oh, and then we just make fun of it. So. That sucks. Which sucks. Oh, we do not. Okay, yo. I do. <laughs> Shane started it. <laughs> that raises another question, though. So that, okay. here's a predicament. Let's say your dog is like. What's an average dog lifespan? Like 15 years? Sure. I think That's it's yeah, like on the 12, high end. 12 to 15. Let's say your dog is 10 years old and like, I don't know, it like your dog like does not to its leg and it's like it's fucked. You're off in the back. And surgery is going to cost. I, I get like, the shade off in the back. Yeah. Surgery is going to cost like 2,500 bucks. You definitely take it behind the shed. Yeah. Do you guys would just say. Yeah. We we take him a, a nice a, a nice trip to the pasture, aka my parents' house. <laughs> and me and my dad would go have a family bonding moment. <laughs> just, just load up that twelve gauge. <laughs> you, you said to take out back. Isn't your dog like fourteen years old and have? His, didn't you have surgery for it recently? He's like eleven or twelve or something. Bauer struggling. Didn't, didn't he have Is surgery? Bauer? No, no, it wasn't Is it surgery. Last day one ninety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His uh, his kidneys were, or he had like some, so he has yeah. arthritis pills, and then his <laughs> kidneys were failing. Arthritis so we, pills. yeah, so we took him to, uh, we took him to the vet, and they had to up. like flush out his kidneys with like a oh, okay. saline IV drip. Yeah. It's but, like, like he's one fine of those. Now. Like, have you ever seen like those things that you clear your nose with? It's like oh yeah, the, the, <laughs> it like, the it nettle. Really yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like a neti pot for his bloodstream. Yeah, exactly. Damn. So, but you, he's fine now. You would. So would you say your dog like I don't know did something to it? 
or a dead sum to itself. I would, you... I would euthanize him in a humane way. Fair. Just, so I, I would probably fair. take him to the vet. But that costs you like doesn't that cost a lot of money nowadays? Like yeah. a couple hundred bucks. Well, it's too much for me. That's to, that or the cost. Well, of it's like you have surgery. to buy a shotgun, buy ammo, yeah. get a permit, just and just like, get a permit. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I like, we had birds. Just like axe. You had <laughs> birds. Oh. Yeah, we had birds when I was younger, and uh, one of them was dying. So then, like, they put it down, and they were like, "Oh, do you want to cremate it?" We said, "Yeah," and it was like six hundred dollars. Want to cremate what? your dead bird? Wow. Birds apparently just put in the freezer. And they come back, and then they come back to life. Yeah, as zombie yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when when, when no, my just... cat, when when um, I think it was free fall. Yeah. When he died, he, we put him in the freezer what, for like four or five months. Chum. <laughs> yeah, Smokey yeah. too. Yeah, or yeah. Because you, you kept saying chumsicles. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Wait, that was your like euthanization. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Like it, so, they died. They put it down because it was dying. And oh, then, um, oh. <laughs> then it was like winter, so they're like, oh, we can we can cremate cremate or whatever for like seven hundred bucks. Like, ah, uh, no thanks. So they just put it in a shoebox and put it in the freezer. And then every time I was home, I was like, hey, pal. <laughs> Sarah, want a popsicle? It pulls yeah. out the cat. <laughs> Shane goes to get the TV dinner, like, lifts the cat out of the way. It was just a paw. I was, like, reaching up like this. Like, Sarah, want a popsicle? I'm just holding it up by the tail. <laughs> so it's, like, a real life. But regardless, it was because it was, like, February, so we couldn't bury it. The ground was yeah, frozen. Yeah. So you had to wait for the ground to thaw. So it wasn't until, like... I just know the August we buried so, <laughs> as part of Breeze. <laughs> August. I have, a, I have a story about that. I could talk about Wait, dead we beach should probably finish as the. Part uh, of Bree's, um, we should finish the whole bets thing. Yeah, we'll yeah, get there. Okay. okay. As part of Bree, <laughs> you're all drinking. Fuck. All right. You were the one talking. <laughs> Cheers, <That's>... boys. <laughs> Happy um, Monica. As part of Bree's oh. zoo collection, she has a bird, mm-hmm. which you, you get to hear cameos of. She doesn't talk all the time. Big fan. Big Na- fan. Named Sunny. Beautiful bird. Anyway, Sunny had a little spill last year and for the longest time literally like her neck was just like this <laughs> so then her dad's a truck driver and had to go like long haul so he's just like if sunny's still like this by like third day just put her in the freezer <laughs> oh, <my laughs> okay goodness. and she made an astounding recovery she, like, her neck's fine and everything she flies he, he still. said that the neck's just like ding <laughs> <laughs> it's not it was, it was on act to get workers comp but yeah like, but, okay so <laughs> how, seeds. how do birds take a spill can't they fly yeah yeah they flew into a window or some shit i, I think yeah, honestly can't it might you have walk been. You've, you've tripped while walking before no never <laughs> i'm not never to shut up while walking i'm not that's like why he has his hands behind his back it's extra exactly. stability exactly <laughs> speed and stability <laughs> <laughs> aerodynamic and sturdy mm-hmm. aerodynamic a quick story about dead be shit being dead love it dead shit being dead Damn. a buddy of mine was telling me a story once about how so like his good friends like wait so how do you tell it so it was it would be his his sister's friend this is already a stretch yeah so it's my it's my buddy <laughs> and it's his sister's husband's girlfriend's son's some, some daughter's like cousin's some best sort friend. Of network like that so okay my buddy's sister's friend her dad unfortunately passed away like overnight one night i feel like a dick and then um but the most this is a really fucked up story and then she, yeah. so then she so then my sister's friend was like messaging her or sister's friend my buddy's <laughs> sister was messaging her friend being like oh i'm so sorry for your for your loss and everything blah blah this is terrible and then she's like yeah do you mind coming over just to like support me blah 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 and she's like yeah sure no problem so my buddy's sister goes to her friend's house and the dead body was still in the house because they hadn't hey. had a chance to come over there and then my my buddy's sister my buddy's sister ran out of her friend's house and was like fuck that this is too e- eerie for me is it just chilling i feel like there's yeah. just a, they were just a dead body on like, the couch like, like, he's still like got, when you walk in like oh what the like he's still <laughs> yeah. got the remote control like, how's it going mr rogers it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 but it's just like that is sketchy. how fucked is that would you guys like i would i would have taken off also there's no yeah. way i'm chilling What's, the house like, i would have stayed do? but i would have been honestly pretty pissed at the person that invited me yeah, over. yeah it's just like yeah so like odd it's just like i wouldn't want to be around or a like person. i i would i would be pissed at the person for not at least warning me that mm-hmm. her dead dad was still on the couch yeah mm-hmm. that'd be pretty yeah. fucked you're gonna sit in between them to watch but it's like you, you don't leave someone in that <laughs> scenario yeah cuddle up it's like yeah. oh, <laughs> it's like what you, is this movie okay star wars yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> that would be a good segue to a point I had about Star Wars, but I'll save it for later. Good. Um, but, so, dead people done. Yeah. Topical over. I'm, um, getting, I'm getting creeped um, out. I was thinking about it. Best game of 2020? The prediction? Easy. Animal Sorry. Crossing. Animal Crossing? Last of I Us I don't even two. know what games are coming out. 
I have a Last I have of Us one. is a good choice. I'm saying Cyberpunk. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. That would be 2020. Awesome. Cyberpunk 2020 is coming out this... It's 2077. 2077, <laughs> whatever. Cyberpunk 2077 coming out in 2020. I kind of agree with that. I don't think... Because Last of Us, the first one was so good, I feel like they'll fuck something up in the second. Yeah, it's a naughty dog, though. They set the bar That's way fair. too high. Wait, is Last of Us the one that people have been trying to get them to remake forever? No, it's Half-Life 3. My yeah, man. The Last of Us was like uh, that story where like you're a guy and a little girl like, traveling across like a wasteland to like... Yeah. How would you play it? It's only PlayStation, isn't it? Or back back on the day, baby. Oh, it's back in our GTA. Days, yeah. yeah. How are you gonna play it this year? You need to buy this. Buy I have a PS4. My sister oh. has it. I'm taking it away from her just to play the Last hey. of Us. I told her I was like, the day it comes out, I'm taking it back. She's like, but I want to play it. That makes sense. I don't fucking care. Get your own damn PS4. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Because yeah. that'll be like one of the few games that'll probably stream in in the entirety. Last of Us. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty fun. Do a let's play. All right. The ending of Last of Us 1 was so fucking sad. What happened? What happened? Can you spoil it? Can you spoil it? It's been out for a a year or two. Okay, so the basic... premise is three years, you're good to go. Basic premise of the story (laughs) is like... like six months. (laughs) Wait, so you two haven't played it? No. Correct. Okay, so so. here's an overall summary. Nor do I think I'll play it. Overall summary. probably won't. I'm I'm interested, but yeah. (laughs) Overall summary. I'm so interested, I just want to hear it, but... At the beginning of the game... Oh my goodness. You're Joel, and this is... This is before the zombie goals. apocalypse starts. So, okay. like, everyone's normal, and then Whoa, you're with his daughter. And Ooh. it's like, he's a single dad with his daughter. How old are we talking? Like, five. All right. I'm canceling that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's just sitting here trying to delete it. Um, Cancel that. So, control delete. Oh, okay. What is it? The girl's like, she can't sleep. She goes downstairs. Dad's still awake. And then the neighbor comes over, the uncle, and then he's like freaking out and they're like, get in the car, get the fuck in the car. And they go into town and the car crashes. And I, like, they're walking around and there's people like zombies everywhere, like chasing people, eating people. And Yikes. they hear on the radio they have to get to like the bridge. So they go to the bridge and then the uh, government people are like, no, you can't come in. Like, not at all. Like, quarantine. It like, sounds like we're, we're maxed bed. out or something. And then, um, I can't remember what happens after that, but I'm pretty sure either a zombie eats a daughter, do you remember? Or if someone oh. shoots her? Oh, and then the whole game is trying to find the cure, right? Well, yeah, so it's like, I th- she dies somehow, and then the guy's like fucking traumatized, but he manages to live and continue living on in the post-apocalypse. He's always like, doesn't want to be attached to anyone. And then they come across a girl who's being chased by people, and then they, she has like a bite on her arm, and they think she's a zombie, so they're about to shoot her, but she's immune. So that's oh, Ellie, shit. Ella, yeah. Ella, 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 Cross, Ubisoft crossover, whatever her name is. Yeah. Um, Ella Shotgun. So then, the whole <laughs> point, the whole point of the story after that is that um, she had someone with her that was trying to take her to like the Fireflies, which is some resistance group or something, and they're oh, trying to shit. find a cure. Viva and because since she's immune to it, they're like, oh, we're gonna take her and uh, mm-hmm. test on her, harvest her. Yeah, and she's then, like on a pedestal. <laughs> and then uh, the person who was taking her was like bitten, so they had to put her down and she's like please take them or please take her for me the whole story follows you taking her there and eventually you get there to the hospital and this is where the ending is is um joel gets attached to her along the way like because at first he's like he's like get the fuck away from me like that's his own daughter no it's a different girl continue oh my god (laughs) his daughter died i already said this and then he finds another chick and this is the new girl Mm -hmm. who like they come across and she has a bite on her arm gotcha okay sure so Joel, the dad, falls in love with the immune chick. Mm-hmm. Like, like, as a daughter. As a father-daughter complex. How old is the immune chick? She's like 15, 14. He's like 40. Okay. What is wrong with you? <laughs> True, this is not fun. important details. <laughs> True, she's to shape up to be some sort of porno star. Actually, I'm, that I'm, I'm pretty sure she's like 10 or 12. Yeah, get out of here. Continue. Anyways, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so they take her to the it's hospital. And... Um, the person who's leading the resistance is just like, thank you for like all you've done, bring her all this way. And he's just like, I'm like, just so you know, I really care about her and I want her to like be with me after this. I want to take care of her. And she's like, oh, well, like we're going to like perform surgery on her and she's going to die, but it's going to like hopefully find the cure. And then he just fucking loses like, no. And he starts shooting everyone, kills the doctors who are about to perform surgery and like grabs her and she's knocked the fuck out. So then he grabs her escapes with her and uh like kills all the doctors on the way out boy. and fucked everything up puts her in like the truck and they drive off and then she wakes up a few hours later and she's like well what happened and he's like oh um it turns out like there was actually a lot of other people there that were just like you that were immune 
so like they didn't need you oh he's and gonna so get he exposed. lies to her and she's like oh okay because the entire time they're all saying like she's the only cure she's the only you one are the chosen it. one <laughs> and then when he tells her she's like a common person she's like oh okay and they just go off and that's it and that's the end but wow like, that kind of makes me want to play it yeah, yeah it's interesting it's a really Sounds good like story a gripping narrative how mm-hmm. much is it on steam you have to buy it on playstation don't you? Can you buy it anywhere else? Oh God. <laughs> you know, now that you <laughs> now that you react like that, that whole conversation's coming back to me. But uh, <laughs> do you remember who? Yeah, like, yeah. Your a sister has your and... PS4. You're taking it back. <laughs> hey, hey, he's got it. He's got it. He just accessed that memory. It's there. <laughs> you like Assassin's Creed? Uh, trying to access all my old memories. Yeah, wait, wait. So yeah, Desmond from ten yeah. minutes ago. <laughs> So it's it's a really good story, and they're making the second one, and this takes place like I think six years later, and they're in like a they have their own settlement, and Joel and Ellie or whatever her name is are still together as like a family. So everyone's curious to see what happened in those six years, and she's grown up to be like a bigger badass. I wonder if like you turn out to be Ellie as the main character. I think so. Because clearly she... you have to kill Joel or break up with Joel at some point. I You're not... Got... He's... Break off, whatever. You... I wonder if she's gotten sexy. Is there a trailer? <laughs> there is a... <laughs> there is a trailer. <laughs> she's... She's... <laughs> she's model after... Uh, what's that Canadian actress? Oh, uh, Nikki um, Benz. Shania Twain. Oh, big fan. <laughs> Justin Bieber. The one from Inception. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Oh. It's just Justin Bieber in the game. I don't know her name. But I, I know haven't seen this episode. Uh, from Inse- uh, Ellen, uh, Ellen Page. Anna Kendrick. Ellen Page is someone's name. That's is why that? Anna Kendrick. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen Page is Ellen someone's Page name. Ellen Page is in Juno. Yeah, that's her. Okay. That, it's modeled after her. Well, like modeled. Like is that because she was in another video game released at the same time, and this character looks just like her. And they were like, no, it's modeled after this other person who does look like her. Conflict of interest. But they're oh, like, true, they're trying true. to get the likeness or whatever. I don't know. Uh, right. Damn, that feels like they're trying was, to avoid some liabilities. It feels like it was just like in a, in a mini movie hearing that story explained to me. You can watch like all yeah. the cinematics and it basically tells the whole story in order. I feel like we should have a segment that's just story time with Christian. You that was just good. like sit here and nap. I was I'm the worst storyteller. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was a good job. You, you had me immersed in the story for a sec there. But now I'm just, I think I would have been better. But now I'm back. <laughs> I would have been better if I had a better audience. True. This Whoa, that was a great audience. Oh, uh, no, look at him. Oh, yeah, who's behind you, Drew? <laughs> Who's Christian pointing at? Jeez. And he's not here. There's no hey. one behind you. Oh, just a ghost. That's no big deal. Oh, fuck. Does it mean we can talk about whatever we want now that Annie's not here? Yeah. I mean, she cool. can listen to it, but... Uh, also, we, uh, wait, did you guys decide on your games? Yes. Said, Cyber, said Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. I actually agree with him, but okay. I can't wait for Animal Crossing. I'm very excited. I don't follow Cyberpunk. game news, but I love Last Animal Crossing, so... Okay. I'm also excited for uh, the Mass Effect remaster that's supposedly coming. Because I love Mass Effect. Burn you guys really hard with Mass Effect Three. Well, I never played Andromeda because it looked like shit, and like there was all these glitches. But I loved Mass Effect Three. Mass Effect Two was okay, and I loved Mass Effect One. Wait, is Andromeda the fourth one then? It was like some weird, like disconnected new one that they made. Oh, okay. When does the new Zelda game come out? It's supposed to be early next year. Done. Nah. I, I want to buy more single player games because I've just been grinding like Overwatch, COD, like oh, shit like that for like months now. Have you guys played Breath of the Wild yet? No. I've never no. played a single Nintendo game. It? No. I've never well, had a Nintendo I system know, ever except for in whatever the flip up Game Boy was called. Isn't play? Well, you had Xbox. I had a, I had Did a, you watch this thing? What thing? Your, oh, uh, the video. Thing. Yeah, no, yeah. you probably didn't watch it. What is it? Hilarious. Uh, did you watch it? The video I sent in the group chat yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> perfect. What? Of the guy coming out to his mom or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't watch it, but what, what was it This about? fucker. So I already told Drew. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to tell you. He, I message him it, and he's just like, what is this? And I'm like, it's a video. Just watch it. And he's like, I can't watch it. I'm like, why not? He's like, I something. can't. It's funny because I, I messaged Rob the other night when the hockey, and I was like, yo, check the highlights. like, Watching like three seconds, like watching right now. This is nuts. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Mom, laughs> man. Yeah, I messaged him something. I, I always send them all this shit, like funny videos or yeah, cool things that I think he'll like, and, and he just always ignores it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he sends he sends me photos, memes all the time, and if I don't respond, he's like, "Huh, wasn't it funny, man?" I'm like, <laughs> "Now I'll look." It's just Jeez. because, man. But it was funny because he sent me this video. As a joke, I'm like, "Is it in Spanish?" And he's like, "Yeah, parts of it." Like there's like <laughs> one there's like one or two words in Spanish. <laughs> Rob, so basically, this guy sits down with his mom. Okay. Or his mom's on the bed. He's, like, chilling on the ground. He's like, Mom. It's like, like a 12-year-old kid. Yeah. He's like, Mom, can you come here? Like, I really need to tell you something. She, like, sits down beside him. She's like, I don't know how to tell you this, Mom. Like, I'm really sorry. And he pulls out an Xbox controller. 
And the mom's just like, I always knew you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get it. Is this an Xbox controller? Yeah. She's like, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like legitimately coming out as like, no, no. no. So she's just like, I always knew you were gay. <laughs> it's perfect. So what? And she's Xbox like, oh, I love you, you. I love you regardless, son. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so having an Xbox makes you gay? That is yeah. what the video tries well, to portray. I guess you guys so better uh, either make, make your decision up pretty quick then. Am I attractive? <laughs> why would we have to make the decision? You're the one with the Xbox. Yeah, wait. Why are we? We're not. I'm not sure you know how that works. Bro. Well, he's gay, so I mean, all men are attracted oh, to him. Yeah, that's how it works. Come on, man. It's because right now he's straight, and all women are attracted. To yeah, him. it's like, of course, it's like Schrodinger's cat. You know what I mean? You keep saying that every time we talk about anything. It's like it's like Schrodinger's cat. Like, <laughs> that makes sense. I, I swear, you're just throwing it at the wall, hoping that one day, it one of these sticks. days, it'll fit. Bro, oh, Bill. Rob, what are you doing on Wednesday? What's this Wednesday? Isn't that New Year's Day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nothing thought, so we'll talk later. Uh, probably, I might be doing something with uh, the aforementioned lady. Yeah, bring her. Bring yeah. her to where? Hang out. I feel we'll like, like, like I'm about to be like assassinated or something. The way you guys yeah. 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 You, you and DT. DT? Donald Trump. Thank you. What the fuck are you guys talking about right now? <laughs> His prediction for the death was Donald Trump. So he's saying he's going to get assassinated. This was just a random Drew saying, topic. We were, we're, we're heading in the right direction. And Drew just spiraled I, us over here. Listen, side note. If 66.6667% yeah, yeah, of the people can understand it, it's not dumb. It, it was dumb. Anyway. Was uh, dumb. What, <laughs> all right. You guys have to fill me in after because I'm... Uh, Anyways, board games at Shane's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should be able to make it. All right. well, that's a no. That's, that's a no. no. <laughs> well, what time of day? What time of day are we talking? What like most of the day? In like the evening. Yeah, like eight a.m. to eight p.m. Late like, afternoon. We're playing like, strip poker. Literally stuff. from like four p.m. to midnight. And I'll, I'll have pizza. You have an eight-hour window. I have an eight-hour window. You can't possibly be busy for that whole eight hours. You're right. I possibly. You last like five seconds Depends anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Ten minutes. Five seconds. Do you know how long it's minutes? been? Well, True. It's, but like we're talking like inverse time, like you know what I mean, like like he has a, a giant, yeah, like you're halfway like, through a trans, yeah, I'm lucky, lines. but yeah. no, um, luckily, <laughs> luckily she's a nurse, so yeah, I have like large chunks of time that I don't have. So to if you ever have a heart attack during anything, you just like during anything, yeah. yeah. I can just be like, you hear this? My regular heartbeat. Am I about to die? <laughs> Rob turns um, into a hypochondriac because he's dating a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the entire world's out to get me, man. Okay, what's this thing you were going to ask you about, Drew? The opinion thing you want, my. You oh, said this ought to be fun. Something about Shane. You can check out now. You'll hate this. Sick. It's something like discriminatory. Oh, or not. yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, so we had this conversation because Drew said go. something on stream. Oh, um, basically, like today you, or no? This was a while ago. I thought the, it was this is the original it conversation. Was when we were playing Smite. <laughs> no. Yeah, because we're getting back to it there. Shane. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talked about it after again. But on oh. stream, so you know how Drew did his uh, accountant's test thing? Still not an accountant, but that's okay. The CFA, the CFA thing? Thank yeah, you. so um, I was just like, oh, what happens if you fail? Like, you just retake it? He's like, oh, it's like $1,000. So I was like, oh, so like if you retake it, you like need to take it. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, I, like no one takes it for fun, except for Asian people. Yeah. Because... Well, like, like, yeah. Like, well, yeah, yeah, like, like the stereotype was like doing yeah. math and then we we're like okay that's racist and drew's like no it's not it's a because he said it's a positive statement saying that they're good at math so therefore it's not bad in any way oh, and man. then we got into a whole it literally was a like a three-hour conversation <laughs> where every single person that we talked to not a single wasn't one-sided this, with wasn't Drew. this literally hey, weeks ago you talked yeah. to no, like that that first David, one the Hannah, first one was like four months Becca, ago like you, you oh you <laughs> talked to the freaking bigot you, oh you, I, I literally posted in the general chat and yeah, everyone's and all the white knights were that. like hey what what the <laughs> fuck drew our leader summoned us <laughs> And then well, they all, all their eyes just snap open. <laughs> yeah. And then today, was like, "You're right." <laughs> today we talked about it again. I don't remember how it got brought up. I think I brought it up somehow. Probably. And then Drew kept saying, "He's just like, no, it's like it's you can say stuff about races without it being racist." My, my whole point was, you can have a stereotype, and the stereotype doesn't have to be inherently racist. Like mm. I've had like people say. Like, fly back when I was playing sports, playing football. Like, oh, you're not, like, I couldn't jump very high. And everyone's like, because you're white. You and can't that's jump. not racist because it's like, you're white, yeah, which it's makes like, no it's a fucking stereotype, sense, which I, it doesn't okay. offend me. Well, you're white. You're superior, so. 
it doesn't matter like the, the that's def- what they all think well like here's the thing about that specific one like I, like every asian person i've met has been like what yeah. do you mean that specific one <laughs> what do you mean you, you said that specific one you pointed <laughs> at me <laughs> Like, well, those people. Yeah, yeah. Well, like every. What Asian, do you got to say about Hispanics, man? <laughs> every every Asian person I've talked to about the master, it takes it's a ho ho. It's like no one really cares about it, right? Like they they like it's obviously a stereotype, and the, and the wrong person would get offended by it. But at the same time, like the way like the when when you use it, it's also as important as like what it is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So like if you were to say, oh, like in Jew's case. Fuck, you know what? You, 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 you can't <laughs> get lost in the mud it's, on that. it's different. If I'm saying, like, you know, like, oh, I hate Asians because they're good at math. Yeah. That's racist. Yeah. But, like, if you saying say- Saying people take something for fun because it's, like, it's just an offhanded, not hurting literally Okay, but then, anybody. so then what happened today when we were talking about it, someone said, oh, what he said wasn't racist. It was prejudice. So I said, okay, Drew, do you at least accept that what you said was prejudice? And he just would, he kept ignoring the comment, just like, Because nope, the nope, definition nope. of prejudice hmm? is like, you either don't before. know <laughs> or you have no experience in. And I have experience that that stereotype is more often than not true. And so then I asked you to clarify in that you have sat down and talked to Asian people and said, <laughs> you enjoy, <laughs> or you asked them, you said, do you no, enjoy no. taking the math test for fun? And you were like, well, no, but like from my experience, Asians are really good at math. His his experience in being Asian, of course. A math major, <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been around <laughs> math and people <laughs> taking math for four and a half years of my life. It doesn't make you an expert. Yeah, it doesn't make me an expert. It makes me, from my experience, you also are living in the area where there's the most amount of exchange yeah, students okay. so here's my take it's like a comment that like <laughs> some would say yeah like that's racist but the th- uh, to me if you get like seriously offended by it you're just looking to get offended because it's just it's just one of those things that like just gets tossed out in a conversation that like yeah i wouldn't say it like in front of like in a professional environment you guys are all drew's the definition of a closet racist <laughs> <laughs> these doors shut and you should hear this man <laughs> Yeah, honestly though you the, should i'm literally the most accepting person yeah. <laughs> but i don't care who you are where you come from what language i don't care i'll be your friend no but like that's like I, that's I, what i'm getting I, at. I make dark jokes i don't give a it's shit like, who you are it's like race racist like racist jokes i wouldn't really call that a racist joke but like usually they're like they're they're like they're present in almost every conversation that like various like race various who races. are you talking to like yeah. even this guy We're makes this guy. Christian, <laughs> Christian <laughs> make racist jokes about himself. Yeah, exactly. No, but that's different. But that's okay. You can make experience. it about yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally have experience. He experience. He doesn't. I'm gonna say something because I know for a fact Drew is gonna just drop chime word. in here. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it. How often does Drew make jokes about me having to go cut his lawn or like clean his house? Once a month. So. Exactly. So. That is, and if it seriously offends you, I will stop. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not the point I'm trying to make here. It doesn't offend them, but that's then, my but, only point. But if that it offends you, I'll stop. So, so that's prejudice. Has, ammuni- has ammunition. So that's prejudice, yeah. right? Continue. Yes, that would be prejudice. Correct. Yes. Okay, and you said if you're prejudiced, it's because you lack the experience of, right? Correct. He, yeah. he hates mowing his lawn. Then how come <laughs> I mow it all the time? <laughs> then, <laughs> you hate it. Then how come I do? <laughs> if prejudice is the lack of experience, then how come the last time you made a comment about cleaning your house, you said, "Oh, but all the people who clean our house are Hispanic." But because they are so you have experience with that but that, but they don't cut my lawn i do it <laughs> no but you also said cleaning your house i think you're tra- they I think being I'm maria and i'm pretty sure her, the other person's name is maria not any race i so, think you're shit. trying to try so, no, no i shouldn't even have to clarify the that because, because, because you know what, after don cherry i just feel the need <laughs> because what drew said was that there's a difference between prejudice and racist where prejudice is that you lack the experience and knowledge okay but if you have the experience and the knowledge then it's just racist. Yeah, I think you're onto something, but I also think you're trying to trap. I see what you're saying. I think you're trying to trap Drew in a box. I am 100. <laughs> so because, because like, you think that if someone makes a racist comment, they're a racist. So it you're depends racist, on the you're situation. Racist, yes. I've heard you make a racist I would, joke I would say it depends on the frequency and also the target. In this case, it's once a month, and the target is me. <laughs> so you're but you, racist. Like, it's almost, it's it's almost like a subscription because it's two friends talking. Where every time you either laugh or don't care. Or he, if you or don't he mutes his you, mic and he cries. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, literally what happens every single time. He's calling his mom big. I need new friends. Mom. Christian, it's terrible. okay. 
<laughs> See, now that's fine. <laughs> Come on, put some tacos. I don't, I, I don't know how to live in this world anymore. <laughs> I, know, I think, I think oh, Christian's trying to trap you in a box. 100%. 100%. That's literally why yeah. I said, I'm going to say something because I know it's going to fuck over <laughs> Drew. Oh, well, you, you, Christian's just trying to slander your good name, Drew. The dumbest thing is you all know that I like don't care who where people are. You're all just going to be like, oh, <laughs> well, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I thought I knew you. <laughs> I'm going to stop digging. <laughs> Now, the I'm, bottom line, Rob agreed with me. I didn't agree statement. either way. I just said like Rob, it, Rob's a very good neutral party. It's just yeah. like, you get, like you can get lost Same. in the mud of what's <laughs> this and what's that. But in in summary, Drew's a racist. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the title of this Any episode. Future employees, li- blah, blah, blah. The future employers, employees. like they're friends and they're idiots and they're joking. <laughs> Disclaimer. You sound like just, me talking to Twitch whenever I say something stupid. Like Twitch, he has a friend. Don't ban me for this. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch, uh, my friend is an idiot. Don't ban me. <laughs> well, it's just like the classic, like, got to bubble wrap everything now, or else mm-hmm. it could be taken as racist mm-hmm. or racist, sexist. Yeah, it's offensive. literally, it's literally like PewDiePie in this whole context thing. Yeah, happened. PewDiePie had a good well, video the other day. I mean, one of them. Well, PewDiePie. <laughs> there also, was no context he also for just that. Dropped an yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was <laughs> the a one where he's up. playing like Daisy or some shit. But like, again, his yeah. ex- his excuse was like, I was really mad and I wanted to say something that would like be the most offensive and get the most like anger out of myself at once which so is I just, not a good excuse it's no, not, it's a, not good a good excuse, excuse but i'm not rationalizing it i'm just saying that was his explanation my favorite he wasn't thing. being right he wasn't like targeting someone of a minority and being like mm-hmm. damn mm-hmm. he was just kind of said it because he was like i was i was mad and gaming and i wanted to just say the most offensive thing i could mm-hmm. my and favorite thing is when he played like when you're driving and you're just like god yeah he played fortnite with ninja and then he told him, he's just like, Don't kill me, can man. we not go to any bridges, please? <laughs> and then just like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Like Ninja said that or? No, like PewDiePie said that. He's like, let's not go to any bridges. Yeah. And then just like, okay. That PUBG bridge is like infamous now or infamous. Depending infamous. On infamous. Whatever. <laughs> Um, but PewDiePie Nefarious. Had a, he had a good video about Twitter the other day about why he deleted his Twitter account. He deleted it? Yeah, because he says Does, like. Do any of you use Twitter still? I use it like honestly all day, every day. I tweet every day. I love Twitter, if I'm being honest. Like, there's a lot of good content on there. Twitter's where I, like, shit post, and Instagram's where I put my refined stuff. Yeah, literally. Twitter's, like, the... Yeah, like, a picture of your meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the refined stuff. There's filters. I put all sorts of um, bullshit on Twitter. It, oh, I still need to tweet something about you. I have, like, them lined dude, up, because I, I tweet dude, every day in the morning when I wake up, so I'm like, okay. I, like, have some days, I'm like, all right, I have these can, l- can, tweets can, lined up, and I, I just tweet them in the morning. Oh, God. It's, it's a it. photo I took can of you in the car. Can you monetize Twitter? When I oh, picked you up mustache? that one day. Yeah. Without the mustache? Yeah. Oh, God. Can you um, monetize your Twitter account? Yeah. Yeah. You just just be... make sponsored posts. Yeah. Just tweet ads for people. But okay, okay. anyway, so PewDiePie's video game. was like, I'm deleting my Twitter account because everyone's just competing to be, everyone's just competing to virtue signal. You know what I mean? It's like. What does that mean? Like Twitter used to be about jokes and just kind of screwing, up, screwing around. Right. But now it's like everyone's trying to get that like Last societal line. like that societal like uh encouragement and like sounds like and positive reinforcement because like oh you're talking about like echo chamber sort of like everyone's everyone's desperately trying to find that one news story they can like tweet about and like expose for being like racist or 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 you know what i mean everyone's just in such a rush to like be like the white knight on twitter like they're not doing any research yeah they're like like, it's just like quick what's the fastest easiest way i can get the most like bonus points from society by being a good guy and yeah. just everyone just racing at each other to do that. The and amount of times I go on Twitter and I see like one of those viral tweets that's like 300,000 likes. Yeah. You click on it and go to the comments. Like five replies from the person who posted it. First one, make sure to follow my Instagram. Yeah, Second one, all the make sure to send me yeah. money on Venmo. I'm like, who the fuck's going to do any of this? It's like you'll tweet like, <laughs> guys, don't forget to send me but money. even if one what? person does it, it was worth it. Yeah, I like, guess. Still, it's just like I agree with them in the, in the sense that you go on Twitter now and it's like, Oh, like who's getting offended by what, and to what extent, and like how much of like a of a following are they gaining from this fake, of, or if they are being offended, all the power so to them. So I can comment on this. Yeah, there was something that happened in the R six community just uh names. like yesterday. Yeah, um, I don't know who posted. Drop some names. Let's hear it. It was so I'm not gonna take any stance on this because I don't want people to bite my head off. Yeah. Um. Although. Yeah. <laughs> so literally, I'm getting kind of hungry. I have a stance. You guys know the uh the map theme park. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, Apparently not anymore. There's an arcade machine. And on the arcade machine is like a little Jaeger symbol and a guy's name. Yeah. It's a. What's it called? The Bear Jew? 
It's like a. It's the reference from Inglorious Bastards. Bear okay, Jew, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, it's Noted. the it's the username of someone who played on Xbox because he passed away a few years ago, and his friends posted in, like the Reddit being like, "Hey guys, our friend Love the Bear Jew, Jew, he's dead." Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah like yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whole commemoration thing, and so mm-hmm. the staff put it in the game as Thoughts like a Bear Jew. as like a memoriam. Mm-hmm. So then someone tweeted out. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Went to like the one of the stat tracker websites, looked up the guy's username, and like took a photo of it, and just like, wow, imagine spending sixty dollars on the game and only having a zero point nine KD. And he's like, oh look, he's also an Ash Yeager main, like, what trash, trash or whatever. Him, yeah. And like, he's obviously, dead. he's saying it as a joke, obviously, because yeah. eh. everyone knows who that account is, and everyone like went crazy about it, being like, you're the worst human being on earth like was this just a random person i, don't, I think so i don't oh. think was, i don't think he's like the worst he's just an asshole trying to be funny just mm-hmm. yeah like just leaving just like it's leave not dead funny. people out of shit like it's not that hard to it's fucking not funny do. And yeah. you're an asshole and it's just about it yeah well so that's the thing is saying leave dead people out of it is not as like there's like a, stat- no, but it's but just like, like he, there's like a they, statute of limitations so literally like they've been can't dead for a hundred years yeah if you, it's like, getting it back into fair somewhat of a recent death is something that you just can't a hundred years I don't know. No, like, like if someone Gandhi can still be in there, but if someone <laughs> if someone's dead, like recently, there's always people out there that's still sensitive to it. So making jokes about it's not going to help anyone, except mm. for like a small minority of fucked up people who find it funny. Like Manny feels yeah. bad. <laughs> so like, but that's the dog with kidney stones. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing of like when is it appropriate though? And like I'm saying like. Me personally, I would never joke about like anyone close to me that's passed away to any extent, like even like a distant, distant friend, just because there's obviously like emotional attachment still there. What's what I mean? There was no. But if it's someone on the other side of the world who I've never met and they've been dead for like fifty years, and people are are already making jokes about it, then like this just seems like what you were just talking about about people being offended over something that yeah shouldn't exactly. It depends on the situation too. Yeah, it's like well, certain, everything is literally certain everything events in the world that is you, situational. Like, you joke about what what, what was what was that Al Qaeda leader's name or whatever that kid? Osama uh, bin Laden. Yeah, yeah, like he was a piece of shit. Joke all yeah, you want. Yeah, fuck that guy. Mm-hmm. But then it's like he was like literally torturing and killing people by like, yeah. thousands. But like, well, so like, well, where is the statute of limitations though? Because like Drew said, for example, hundred years. Mm-hmm. But like people make jokes about like world war ii and or like this 9 11 stuff like that or jesus or jeffrey epstein as well epstein. Uh, who just died this year but that's different because he was a pedophile fucking weirdo and yeah he's burning yeah. right now but. It's, it's like like world war ii 9 11 it's just like you don't touch yeah that, i've like. never i personally never made a 9 11 joke and i can say that with confidence I guarantee it. Go back. I don't on, think that's true. Go back on any of your content. <laughs> I've never made a nine. I obviously joke. wouldn't upload that in my content. <laughs> you make, okay, you make. You probably make out of all of us the most fucked up jokes. Yeah, but about like yeah, sex suspect. and like they are... body fluids and shit. I've never mm-hmm. talked about like. I, just, I don't take his first. I, just don't I don't believe about it. Dead people. It's something that makes me uncomfortable. So I just don't. What about do the it. whole like jet fuel can't melt? I've never made a nine eleven joke. I swear. Like I swear. I don't know how what you guys knew. Jet fuel. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Mm-hmm. It's, like it's just something. a conspiracy theory saying it's the whole thing planned. they're saying like uh like jet fuel when you burn it high enough it can't physically melt steel beams so then they're saying like that means obviously there had to be explosives and the towers which would have melted it and that's what it would have caused just it. another conspiracy theory does that matter like the plane still well, like, well the, the, the conspiracy what they're talking about is like a plane hit the top of a building they're cons- and yet it crumbled from the bottom the conspiracy theory is like it so was the- all set up by the united states to like like to invade. To invade and like build like morale in the United States and give them a reason to go kill a bunch of people in the Middle East. And it's not unfounded. There was so no, yeah, that's the crazy part. I, I just <laughs> I just found out about this. I think it was called Operation Paperclip, was uh, something proposed by the CIA, which was to kill and terrorize American citizens, like the CIA doing it, and to blame it on to, like, um, terrorists. Like, yeah, terrorists. Like, and, to, and to give them an excuse to go kill people. Yeah. And then JFK said no. And then that there, that is what sprung the whole other conspiracy where they say the government killed JFK because the CIA wanted to do these things, but he was saying no. So they killed him in order to be allowed to go do it. But didn't... Um, fuck. I lost well, it's like the, like the CIA wanted to like... They, they wanted more money to buy more <laughs> shit, like more like guns and expand like the CIA's total like numbers. And mm-hmm. they're like... What's the fastest way to do this? And they're like, oh, except some giant terrorist attack in the middle of the United States that's going to unite the entire country, give us a reason to buy a whole bunch of shit, and then go over to the yeah. Middle East and didn't, just fuck Didn't it a up. bunch of groups like claim it, though? 
Well, so, yeah, that's, so like, the, the thing that's is, what the thing is, and so the United States technically made all these terrorist groups. They 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 provided oh, way all back the, in the day, way yeah. back in the yeah. day. They, they they made the Al Qaeda by providing them with all the wep- like, all the weapons, all the ammunition. They armed local like uh, regimes to fight back against local terrorists, and then they, they just were like, "Oh shit, we have a ton of leftover guns and shit. Let's just make our own new terrorist <laughs> regime and then yeah. fuck the states up." And like, there's a lot of things the U.S. has done that's really fucked yeah, up. Really I, I just found out about one. All right, where... we've all made mistakes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we've some of us have started terrorists <laughs> by accident. Some, some of us have made a joke. Some of yeah. us keep the door open. They're all the same. Some thing. of us are racist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fuck. <laughs> there was another one that I just found out about in San Francisco where the US government uh, dropped like a bunch of chemicals just across San Francisco just to see what would happen that was literally their whole reason they were just like we want to see what happens they to crop people. dusted them crop dusted. Well, it was literally just chemicals and I then, bet you this was a placebo they just dropped some like food there? colored water <laughs> <laughs> this was like I think in the 60s or 70s and so a couple of people died because they got like cancer and all these diseases from these chemicals and the one lady Doesn't cancer take a while to metastasize though like metastasize 20 years just that if word it was in the 70s that could be in the 90s metastasize but anyways so they died somehow of the chemicals and then they sued the u.s government like the wife did and yeah. then the courts ruled in favor of the u.s government saying that it was fine well it's because they just, like that's just corruption yeah it's well and they're getting paid prison. off so it's fine Again. yeah so that, that's the whole point of all this is that <laughs> there's reason to believe some of the conspiracies i don't know i don't really I, take like, any there's certain ones like the moon landing i think is like actually happened i think they actually went to the moon oh, i thought you said it was that's like good. Well, <laughs> that's uh, good. like and obviously <laughs> nine, like 9 11 was like fucked by i think it was just a straight up terrorist yeah. attack you said that so serious like did he actually does he not <laughs> no. think he got to the moon like oh did my they, have God. you seen that video of the guy one of the astronauts just suckering someone who choose saying he didn't oh he yeah didn't. buzz aldrin he's yeah. done that like three times yeah. so fucking funny man that's just i would yeah like some guys like you didn't do it bang just <laughs> <laughs> such well, a well it's not even move. just him saying bang. you didn't do it he was literally stalking him for half an hour saying like you're a disgrace to the u.s like swear on the bible if First you don't swear on the bible up, you didn't do it it's like no i imagine, don't need to swear on your like an 80 year old man that'd be pretty fucking wild well i guess he's probably pretty built for an old dude who's an astronaut but mm-hmm. anyways yeah I don't know. yeah so that's the conspiracy portion there's I, reason to like there's reasons why people believe it i don't have what? much stake in it circling back to the 9-11 conspiracy is that what we're saying oh yeah yeah because oh, was just yeah. like that's so dumb but then when you explain it a bit, like there's a it's, reason it's, why it's people one of those it. things where it's like it people set it up to be very believable mm-hmm. and it's like well, and the thing is, like, people want to believe done. the shit that they're not supposed to. Like, the yeah. conspiracy. People are always well, so, like, oh, I, like, it'd be so fucked yeah. if that happened. I almost wish it, like, was the, a fact. And they, but... like, convince themselves. Yeah. So there's another thing. Like Area 51. Yeah, literally. There's another thing about all this that um, people have been, like, conspiring about is that, you know how companies all the time will do PR moves? And, like, yeah. even though they're doing really they, fucked up shit. They try to be woke. It shows yeah. like, oh, like they're willing to be transparent about something they did or yeah. they're willing to make amends. People are saying the same thing about the U.S. government saying that like all these classified documents coming out, they're releasing them because then people will be like, oh, the U.S. government's transparent. Like they're showing us everything. But all but those then, documents like, are cherry picked. Yeah. They are. But then they're also like, so what about all the ones that we don't and see? And the parts are omitted too. So like if, exactly. if all these like really fucked up things are coming out, what are all the things that they haven't told us about that yeah, they have yeah. done? So that's where like more there, there's come millions down. of documents. They've just picked a handful. They're like, oh, this kind of messed up. But like, like the they think it'll scratch the edge for the public, but yeah. it's not going to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just blows my mind that the government like, it's not one person. So say say this whole paperclip fucking operation paperclip. Yeah, yeah. can't paper, wait for that paper clip, season. Paperclip up to a house thing <laughs> yeah. is uh, follow their operation. Is sometime. true. <laughs> it's like that's not a decision made by one person. Yeah, like it has to go through like a fucking I don't even know what that council least, and like all this at stuff. At least three people. Yeah, yeah. And, and can you imagine <laughs> a group of like government <laughs> like, officials being like, okay, let's fucking told let's just crash a plane into the world trade Center. well so it. it's like trudeau trudeau can't no. just like pass yeah, something crash overnight it's right it's crash two yeah. you, have, you have to remember that for a lot of these cases like usually the only person that they would respond to is the president yeah. or and it's like four the people that are privy to the information like, yeah. like yeah. i don't know if it's different in the states to canada but like any bills that have to get passed or anything it's, it's like, not a bill it's just, a, it's they're, just they're just missions that they perform on their own like i guess they're not going to go to the house of commons and be like hey how we're gonna you, perform terrorism how do you respectably like respect you don't that's yeah, just like so fuck like yeah well that's, yeah. that's the that's the whole point is that it's fucked 
That's fucked up. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, so like mm -hmm. that rubs me very wrong. So as far as I'm aware, the whole Operation Paperclip thing, the only person who could say no was JFK. And he did say and then he, and died. he did say it. So is this is this like some document that they released? Or yeah, like, you can go find information about Operation Paperclip. There, it's, it's not, publicly it's out not there. The, like the paperclip know, part isn't a conspiracy. <laughs> no, like it's actually <laughs> they're they're released no, documents. Ever again. <laughs> yeah. When's the Netflix original coming out? Never. <laughs> Imagine that if they made a show on 9 11, that'd be pretty fucked. And then, well, I guess if it was like documentary style, it would be whatever. But... Did you know that they made a show about Hitler? Yeah. Netflix? You've seen that? I haven't no. seen it, but I've heard like, seen it was like a thing. JFK did? So they made a, a <laughs> whole show about uh, Hitler, and then it was like his neighbors were Jews or something, and it was like a whole thing about like playing on. And like they picked on him? Well, it was just like him being like, oh, I hate them, and like it was all the antics they would get up into, and then like it they aired the first episode, and everyone was just like, no, yeah. don't do this, and they canceled it. Really? But I think you, you can't can victimize it. Hitler whatsoever, or else yeah. you're just going to turn the entire world against you. So, yeah, pretty fucked up thing. Hitler was just a, I think he was like a literal Man, demon. That's, that's the weird thing, though. Like, a lot of these weird people were, well, like, not, I, like not, not obviously when they were doing messed up shit, but like they started off as victims. Well, it's like, you gotta like, Mm -hmm. what yeah man it's like like that whole netflix series on ed kemper like he was just bullied and shit his whole life who's ed kemper i actually don't know who that is either to he's be like one of the biggest serial murders or serial killers ever oh uh, and then there's another I mean, he like he like killed his grandma because he wanted to know what it would feel like and then like when his grandpa found out he like killed his grandpa because he didn't want his grandpa to find out and then he like well that's that's just him hit killing them in his a closet and that's yeah. just him killing his grandpa. That, that was like the start though yeah but he wasn't a victim he just killed his grandma yeah, but it, no, but he's saying the point is that, like, if you go back far enough, like, when he was a kid, he was bullied. And, like, that's, and, like those, those, those are sort of like, trauma. Those aren't excuses yeah. whatsoever. Oh. But, it's just but he's like, saying, like, usually they start as a victim and then it transforms into them. They're not even aggressor. a victim. That's a better word for it. It's like they, they have some sort of What's traumatic trauma? experience. Their brain just gets fucked. And then yeah. they just, mm -hmm. some, Obviously, there's some exceptions. Some wire just gets, but... like, their head gets shook in a little too much and some wire falls out. So <laughs> explain Hitler, then. He was rejected from art school. Oh, Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. Like, oh, <laughs> that right there. That's all you need. think if he would have gotten in that art school. That's what everyone keeps saying. They're like, yeah. what if? If what only if? he could draw more than stick I'm figures. Sure he, I'm sure he was fucked up enough that he would have found a way to. That's uh, like, he's a whole other level. Yeah, That's he would have found a way to be his usual fuck self, I think. Fuck his, his usual fuck self. <laughs> Rob knows him personally. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. he's a gross motherfucker. Uh, but Grody. Anyways, yeah. That was Conspiracy 101. Yeah, so this. Health this spike. The whole Christian. the whole first forty five minutes of this podcast will be beeped out. Yeah, because <laughs> like after everything we've talked about, someone's probably gonna try and kill us. Can you imagine like we end the recording and then all of a sudden all the windows get blown in? It's they rappel in. Get down on the ground. How do you open up? How do you know, know about be, Operation Paperclip? <laughs> not even being live streamed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, here's a fuse charge you with the window <laughs> or the, the sp roof. Doom, yeah. Doom. Well, it's hockey pucks. We, we would you guys are just smacked in the wall. We would die in this room pretty fast if fuse charges went off. Well, yeah. I don't know. I'd be okay. I could get out of here pretty quick. That's actually the size of a probably the pot. slowest one here. Oh. <laughs> Run closest to the door. Yeah, Rob would somehow freaking jump. I would just jump off the table. <laughs> yeah. Rob would just Hulk smash the table. I'm trying to think of like how I would like if there was like five seconds to live or, or or five seconds to live or die in this room. I would probably find a way to get out of here pretty fast. I'd probably just knock all this over and just jump over. Oh yeah, like this. Is Honestly, material possession wouldn't move an inch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I thought a good run. Yeah. <laughs> it's been great, guys. <laughs> see you, Manny. In a few minutes. Guys, you, Manny. that is too soon. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> sure it is. I was making jokes the day he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, too soon. Mr. Nice Guy over here. Okay, so the thing is, it's like... dead dogs. Oh, yeah. So, so, we, so for the Manny example, there was we're pretty sure he's been dead for like a month or two. Yeah. But well, they so, only told him when he got back because they didn't want to mess him up. With which I think is yeah. the right thing. Yeah, for sure. I, but like, but we figured it out after like a week because he, yeah. he's like, hey, what's happening with Manny? He's like, you're, you're, his parents have just changed the subject. <laughs> yeah, so like we didn't actually know, but we kept making jokes about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Because well, like, we're assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy's probably like so, so upset about his dead dog. Yeah, Ben, if you're listening, we love you. Yeah, yeah. he said he's, like, he's not going to let his parents get another pug or he doesn't want them to. Because he acknowledges that they're fucked up animals. So, so that's he, improvement. That's, that's a good dumb. job, Ben. Dumb. Get another pug. No, they're awful. Yeah. Get two for one. You're saving. It's going to go to someone else's house and have a miserable life. At least they can provide a nice At life least they'll the love it. And clean out its nostrils. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is there a thing you have to do for pugs? Just like no. a little bit I'm of I'm pretty sure you do. It just looks like they're they a, a normal shit. dog and their face just got <laughs> pushed into their fucking... Well, they head. did. Have you ever seen a picture of like a, what an actual pug looked like? No. I'll pull it up. It's like when uh, 
I, I think in like ancient China, they used to bind the little girls' feet. Oh, it's with like, like the those shoes. Yeah. And they would take the shoes off and their feet were all like fucked up. I learned up. that in elementary school. I saw that on like, I think it's a gross. Ripley's Believe It or Not, I want to say. So they had like long snouts and um, so how did were they, taller. How did they like de evolution eyes? Mm. Incest, as well as a lot of selective breeding. So, like, when a dog has a trait that you want, you just breed the shit out of yeah, it. Yeah, you, like, you take this one dog and you just breed it with a shit ton of other dogs Dollars. until you get more and more results of what you want. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah. No much. He looks like uh, Babu Frick from the new Star Wars movie. You want to talk about Star Wars? Yes, that was a good segue, eh? <laughs> this guy. Wait, what? Not really. You forced it in. What about Star Wars? Don't he, spoil he went it. to go see the new movie. So, Don't no, spoil okay, it for spoiler me. free review no. spoiler yeah. for. so man i'm literally watching all of the old star wars in preparation to go see the new one it was it was i like darth it. vader dies darth maul baby yoda dies <laughs> baby yoda. what no is baby yoda in it wait have any of us no. actually seen mandalorian yeah i've seen three episodes no. i'm no. I, 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 I need to watch, i'm watching the last two tomorrow and then i'll be done the first season anyways, anyways so like star wars caught a lot of flack from a lot of reviewers which so my like if i had to assign a number to it i would give it a 7.7 7. so I like too high so uh, that's that's saying well at least for me i don't know how you scale movies i say five is like a good movie yeah five is a, like for me like i would give my okay so my favorite just for scale i guess my favorite new star wars movie from disney is rogue one i'd give it a nine okay okay what's your favorite movie of all time a star wars movie or just all all, all time probably uh, american sniper and I'd give that a like a nine point eight. No tens, eh? No, I, I don't know. I just Mad Max or uh, Perfect Book, Ten. Book Book actually, Mad, Mad Max is probably my second favorite movie. I'd so Mad Max is sick. Yeah, Book of Eli is sick. Never heard of it. Oh, that's the one with Denzel Washington. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's about the Bible, isn't it? I think. Uh, well, like yeah, so, no, it's about no. the Book of Eli. He, he has he has the last Bible on Earth, and he has to get it to like some city so it can be transcribed, and he's the only one that can read it or something. Oh and, shit. That sounds pretty intense. But anyway, so the Star Wars movie, there was like some things that like m- a couple of head scratching scenes, you could say the, to say the least, like ones that didn't need to be there. Mm-hmm. And there was like they introduced some like new powers and abilities that just randomly like they haven't seen we haven't seen in any of the other Star Wars movies, and yet all of a sudden, that's what Brie Kylo and Ray. It's because the the midi Well, or the whole thing called. is like Kylo and Ray have this connection with each other that no one's ever seen Spoiler. before. Well, no, they say that in like The Force Awakens, I think, or something. Yeah. Um, or Last Jedi, I think it was. But like, aside from like the disconnect in, in plot, wasn't it? And like stuff, it was like, it was lots of like lots of it was visually stunning. Probably one of the best looking movies I've seen in a while. So, so I haven't seen the old ones in a while, but wasn't Anakin supposed to have like the highest midi chlorine? Anakin, d- he seen? does. Yeah. Like, An- episode three, Anakin was like the most OP Jedi to ever live. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess Seth technically, but oh. like. He oh, could have killed anyone. Spoilers. The only reason he died was because that he didn't have the high ground. Yeah. As we all know. Yeah. You know what Steam talking about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> so, from what I've heard from people, like, when they think about it, they say, okay, overall, that movie, what's it called? This recent one? Yeah. Rise of Skywalker. So, they're like, this movie was a bad Star Wars movie. That they were like the story didn't really make much sense. Oh, that things okay that, Star Wars movie, and then they were like, but for an actual like visual thing, they're like it's an okay movie. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, like J.J. Abrams didn't direct the first of these of the series. No, they all had different directors. Yeah, so J.J. was tasked with wrapping up this weird disconnected narrative in one movie. After the last movie was an absolute disaster. Like I'd say, the last Skywalker or the last Jedi, six point five six. I really didn't like it. Just because it felt like it didn't feel like a Star Wars movie to me. We talked about this last week or whenever and you were like, I love The Last Jedi. You're like, no, 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 I, no, I no. like that movie. Yeah, I, we, I thought we just determined the scale. Five was good. And he's like, 6.5. Yeah, I really didn't like it. Well, like, for <laughs> my scale is different than his. Like, so, so a five seven, for so, me is like something that I would so probably six, not watch So again. for you, 6.5 is good and you're like, yeah, yeah. No, no, but yeah, for, no, no, for, no, for, Rob, scale. for Rob, 6.5 is bad. And yeah. what would, would you rate the new one? 7.7. 7. And you said it was good. Yeah. So a 1.2 difference determines bad and good. So, so and somewhere around, so 7.3 is, is a okay movie. I, realis- I realistically wouldn't use a number lower than 6 anyways. Like, I, I really, so, okay. I'm going to like no, a no, 6 no, to 10 scale. We're putting the scale of getting more okay. 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 6 is 0 then. Yeah. Six, so, 6 is like really bad. So a 6.8 is really, really bad. 6.8 is like, I'm never going to watch it again. Yeah. Like, I only want to go see it because I had a Star Wars label attached to it so 
your scale is literally one to four or zero to four. That's six. Or so one to five. It's more like six to ten. Yeah, six to ten. I would use no, but like just bring down the number. No, no, no. It's six to ten. No, it's six to ten. One to four. Bring down the number. One to five point nine just doesn't exist. Yeah. I don't see. This is what I hate about reviews now is because people are like That's awful movie. Mean. Worst one of the series, seven point five. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that, no, that's a one. Well, he but, just established his scale. It all makes sense. Yeah, the Last Jedi was just disconnected. Like had scenes that made no fucking sense, and like it was the worst attempt at a Star Wars movie ever because it was just the whole entire movie based around two ships chasing each other at the exact same speed. Like, neither one of them decided, oh, we could probably speed up if we wanted to. I can't. Well, like, just... And then so there's some random chick with purple hair calling all the shots you've never <laughs> seen in any Star Wars movie before. So all of a sudden, she's, like, the supreme leader of the rebellion. It's like, who the fuck are you again? Spoilers! Jeez. All right, yeah. No I've, I've seen them all, <laughs> oh. except the last one. Okay. <laughs> but, like... It was just a while ago. <laughs> but, yeah, like... And then the most recent one, I think JJ did a good job because he had to wrap up, like, seven different, like... Pl- character plot lines if stuff. i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure they had all the same writers yeah but different directors though but like which is oh, huge well, it, yeah. it is look at like, like game of thrones they had different directors i think for the or did was Every it dnd no. yeah like all D&D, of season eight or whatever. dnd wasn't the same director as the ones from the earlier seasons right and you can clearly I'm pretty see sure they were no i don't think so. i don't look but um, because like the, the director of battle of the bastards is the guy making the mandalorian right now that's probably why it's so good. Yeah. But D&D came in and just took over this. They had the super high prestigious title attached to them, right? And they just fucked Game mm-hmm. of Thrones into the ground. But technically, the writers should be the ones wrapping up the story. Yeah. Like, yeah. The director so, like, would just if, be if how. The, if the story it itself portrayed. is bad, then it's the writer's fault. Yeah. But, but if it's what, what you see on the screen. Okay but the JJ, no. like, but JJ, his job is like figuring out how it all translates to the big screen mm-hmm. like, yeah. he gets the script and he's like okay how but, do i put this into a movie but you said that like what the what didn't make sense was the plot line that's the right yeah but fault. like they, they, there's still some like jj still has to make some calls as to what can and can't go in the movie but they can't change the script yeah but they, he can omit things that aren't going to fit in his timeline not necessarily like do you, you, you know what i'm saying yeah, right can. jj that has to translate the he story has final to say the movie everything. yeah would well, to a degree like disney has final say like for yeah but like for something a, like this he's a creative director you could call him for the movie though. yeah but like overall in the end like they show this movie to a bunch of disney suits and a disney suit say yes or no yeah it correct. doesn't matter what jj abrams wants yeah they decide end of the day yeah so but, like, like if they're he's those still, same like, suits hired jj so yeah. they're gonna put a lot of their trust into him yeah and he's mm-hmm. a re- he has a very high reputation as a director yeah like he they, they probably give him a lot of a, not so much anymore i know if you, if you do that it just goes full circle they're yeah. all like, getting paid by the government so it's fine anyway Big Pharma. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all working for Big Pharma somehow. Yeah. But what I'm saying is though, like if you're saying it's the plot, that's the writer's fault. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand you're saying that the director has yeah, say. Yeah, that's not so ultimate. It's not this person controls everything. Mm-hmm. JJ has some creative input as to what goes in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he did a good job. He's sitting at the table. But yeah. in terms of the actual story, the content that's on the comes writers. from the writers. Yeah. But the director, he's got to translate it. Yeah, the director has to figure out a way to put it onto yeah. the, into a movie. The he writers give from... it to him in French, and he's got to translate <laughs> yeah. it to literally like movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying is though, like if the, yeah, if, I, mean, I know what you're saying, <laughs> but I'm also saying JJ does have a say what goes on i know but like and you're saying it's like it has to be black no no, no, no. christian's white. saying jj's whoa, like whoa, like whoa, google bro, bro. Dr- he's saying Still. it's like google like translate where you put it in you get this really wonky phrase <laughs> and then big disney comes down like no nah, let's correct this a little <laughs> come on what i'm saying is so if they get, hand him a script yeah and it he's like this has all these like plot issues yeah they can like revise some of it but he can't just be like, okay i want to add yeah, this scene i want he, to add he this he can't change star wars canon that comes from the writers yeah yeah so if the whole issue is the plot and all the story and all the powers that you're saying are wrong then that's the writer's fault because it's not like jj abrams can just enter like if you just said it so himself he can't throw in stuff that's not star wars canon then that's the writer's but, fault. But this argument is also counteracting what you agreed with when you say jj has but what some if creative Lucas input films always wanted healing <laughs> Do you want to go get water again? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, that yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, Bree's brother spoiled that. Oh, okay. But yeah, so like basically overall, he does have c- control usually for how it's represented, but he can't usually control what is actually in it. Okay, if they so- hand him a script and they say, this is the script, this is what you have to do, he has to do it. That's what he's hired to do. Correct. Disney but pays he- him to 
put that script has, on the screen. Yeah, he does. He can say, he can make "I'm cuts. doing it this way." He, yeah, he can correct. make a few cuts. He can make yeah. a few change things. lines to make them better. Like because yeah. they're they're making mm-hmm. changes on the fly as they go. But like but, you're right, there's nothing significant. Yeah, he's not gonna be like, "Oh, you have to take out this, this, and this." And a like, lot all of these those, powers. And a By lot the way, of Darth Maul dies. A lot of that kind he's of stuff. He's actually alive with like robot legs. A lot of that kind of stuff is done after the fact. They like they put it all together. They watch and like, yeah, this doesn't make sense. Cut it out. This doesn't make sense. Let's change it. They don't. It's not like on the set. JJ Abrams was like, okay, we're changing this, this, and this. No, but it happens after. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, so so it's not his fault. It's the writer's fault. Yeah, the like. So example, Last Jedi was fucked up. That means the director probably didn't bother to think through. He the director did a poor job explaining what was given to him. If if the story itself was good, then the writers did a good job. Yeah, if it was like how it was represented on the screen, then that means that whoever the director the f- was fucked up. I don't know what the up. fuck happened between Probably the writers and the director, it but it was just a shit show. Nothing made sense. It, it that just... usually tends to happen in like the middle of trilogies, especially in cases like this, just because it's like yeah, you're the murky middle part trying to bring everything together, and if you bring in a new person trying to carry on a story that just started, yeah, not gonna go that well. But yeah, I don't know. I think JJ did a good job pulling everything he was given together because he was given kind of a shit show Mm -hmm. and like he did a good job presenting what was you know presenting what should have been a good way to wrap up a trilogy of star wars movies and he did a pretty good job at it 6.8 the thing is like there is i i didn't have any questions after i didn't understand there was nothing i didn't understand so to me that's a sign of a good finale Mm -hmm. like game of thrones i was like what's like why didn't why why did john snow have to go back to the north when Grey Worm was leaving back to his country, or why was Bran you, the fucking king after all? We already talked about all that. I know, but like, I, you're I, wrong. I, I had those questions right when I finished watching it. I was thinking to myself, I don't get it. But then after Star Wars, I was like, okay, I'm satisfied. I know everything. So mm-hmm. that to me, that was a good way to wrap it up. You know, there was no ambiguity after I finished watching it, which is how it should be in a, in a season finale or trilogy finale. So like one way of Frank move. This but, is yeah. just fucking classic Drew. In the middle of talking about something, he's just like pointing at Shane, <laughs> analyzing him, being like, what is this? Can you explain this to me? <laughs> can, I, can I eat it? Eastern lobster, man. <laughs> Rastafarian lobster. <laughs> There's this skin in Smite, and that's what he sounds like, and he's a lobster. <laughs> Do you need to be tested? Probably. For what? ADD. ADD. No, he has ADD. I know he does. ADD or ADHD? He's got the full alphabet. <laughs> A- well, ADHD would mean that you can't ADHD. sit still. Well, and like, if you can play video games for a few hours, you should be fine. There's the test of where like, you, put, you put your hands flat on the table and your feet flat on the floor. And you see how long you last before you have to move. I can win this. And then it's like whoever moves first has ADD. Like I'm going li- to I know I have ADD. I got diagnosed as a kid. Can you outgrow oh, really? it? Really? Yeah. I just like learn ways to <laughs> i just don't want to do that oh i i, like I could me, if i wanted to me, but... I, get, I feel uncomfortable when i can't move that's oh i, I feel I very have. uncomfortable yeah, right no, i feel fine i can just sit here like this I, for I, I this hours is great. yeah you guys don't have it then like for me if, like, if i'm I, I can't sit still i want to go to the eye doctor what if i'm itchy and you itch yourself but, but, but then you also have but then i lose if that, that 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 itch isn't an itch it's just your brain telling you that you want to move because you have mm-hmm. something that makes you want yeah, to move itches are literally a figment of your imagination. Well, like, so I can his feet on the ground. I do. Like, look, like I, my feet are already on my table. Table. He said flat. I can't. How, how am I supposed to do that? If I can do it, you can do it. No, you got the small chair. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yours are actually. Oh, they're on the floor. Yeah, I'm playing my, by the rules. Mine are just on the bar stool. He's on the edge of his chair, though. You're on so the, I win. Yeah, I'm that. deep. I'm deep in here. I am El Winero. <laughs> The Winnerino. Oh, no. Winnerino. You already moved your hands. Like you're raising them right now. <laughs> I am, I am the winner. So, it's me. I'm using the force. Why? You guys have no. your hands. I have my feet. So, like for me, how I feel is uh, I can feel like my body, like doing the nerve thing. Yeah. Like you can feel it rippling you're, through you, but it doesn't. Like I can control myself. I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to sit still. Not me. I get, so, I get way too uncomfortable when yeah. I'm just like being forced don't, to sit still. The only thing I feel is I, I don't think this is ADD. How do you fall I think then. I'm just yeah. tired enough. I toss around a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just just no. dies every day. <laughs> he literally just runs around his room nonstop until. Oh, no, I, I just see, I get myself to a point where I'm just like drained mm-hmm. For, physically and mentally. The only time I ever feel like that it? Mm-hmm. when I mm-hmm. when I feel like I have to move is just if I sit in a chair, usually not my office chair for some reason, but anywhere else. If I sit in a chair that's not necessarily comfortable, I can feel it like on my lower thighs and my ass, and like I just keep moving i have to stand yeah. up and like re 
position my pants and underwear. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it just feels awful. I can't. Like, I, just but can't I don't. It's still, it's I don't awful. think that's ADD. I think it's just like well, it's just un- being uncomfortable. normal. Um. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard? Of... <laughs> Fuck me then. No. Whatever. <laughs> Relax. This kind of ties in. Have you ever heard of the channel on YouTube, The Modern Rogue? No. no. They basically just test. They they're, they're kind of like YouTube MythBusters. <laughs> okay. Um, but with more like guns and shit. No, they shoot m- each more other. mainstream myths. And so. so, have you guys ever heard of the uh, Schrodinger's cat? <laughs> See, how am I supposed to think when we have Rob here? <laughs> it, it's like the thing where you like Bloody Mary. You just like mention Bloody Mary a bunch in a like dimly lit room in a mirror, and then like Bloody Mary appears. Yeah. yeah. So okay. like Bloody you do Mary, stuff like Bloody that. Mary, she Bloody does Mary. appear. Yeah. Which, yeah. It's Shane's whole... mom. <laughs> <laughs> the whole or, or thing is like they Aww. sit still in a in a chair. <laughs> And they like stare at the same spot and like everything is just they're so like subconsciously uncomfortable that everything else warps around them and just like fucks with them. And it was actually see, really interesting. Isn't to that watch. what weed does to you? Like no, no. I'd say in the opposite <laughs> sense. It's like, well, it's, mushrooms, it's like what mushrooms do to you. Well, it's oh, like a sleep. Have, 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 have you guys ever us? had? Have you guys ever had sleep paralysis or known someone who's yes. had it? I've, I've never had, had sleep it. paralysis. I've, I've, had, paralysis. I've never experienced it. My first week in university, I had it. It was. What is scary. it? You're like asleep, but you're not asleep, and you th- something's like coming at you, and you can't move. It's like you're you're like in the middle of lucid dreaming and not at the same time. So literally, I was in my dorm room, and someone was standing beside my bed, holding onto my hand, and I tried to pull my hand back, and I couldn't. And I tried to yell for my roommate, and I couldn't. Like nothing came out. And then I just like woke up, but it's weird because like your eyes are open, like you feel oh, like sh- you're awake. I shivered. And I didn't this. sleep a wink the rest of the night. So the reason why sleep paralysis happens is because um, your eyes, <laughs> <laughs> your eyes still have full like power when you're asleep, right? Because you have like rapid eye movement when you're yeah. asleep. Um, so the way it works is that your brain is waking up and it wakes up your eyes because they're still already active, but, but the rest a, of your body is but still But then there's asleep. a glitch in the matrix. Basically, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's literally just your body is still asleep. So then you wake up, you're still in a dream state with your eyes open, you're registering everything but you can't do anything. So it, it makes you feel like you're trapped in your body. Horrifying. I had it, the same thing happen, but it was, um, I felt like someone was sitting on my chest, mm-hmm. so I couldn't breathe. It's literally Annie. <laughs> She's like, well, this one, what's for breakfast? She's just got like a small ass on. <laughs> this was, <laughs> accurate, but um, this was when I was like 12. So this was oh. a long time ago, but I, I woke up, I felt like someone was sitting on my chest, I couldn't breathe, and then I just fell back asleep horrifying the most it was the most scary shit i've ever been through like it was terrifying See, the thing for me is like usually i'm going to bed with assistance from like you know like usually like a, a girl a, melatonin. no a tea <laughs> not only melatonin i'll tea you know sometimes tea. I'll, I'll go with like a steroid a few, a few <laughs> not <laughs> cocaine a few natural two six of rum <laughs> a few natural herbal remedies you know some natural herbal remedies weed some mushrooms um or like some cilantro in, in, in school Spinach. in school sometimes i would just literally just like get hammered like an hour before i'm not hammered but i would just like <laughs> like he, he's like in high of, school mom can you pick me up a two no. four and like to sleep at, tonight at school like sometimes i would just be after a mickey <laughs> i'd be too stressed to about, about like school but i also didn't want to like blaze because then like it would fuck with my anxiety or something so i just you know Take some shrooms. Vodka. <laughs> have a few shots of vodka before bed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, wait, so how old wait, 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 wait. You're saying that you didn't want to smoke weed because yeah. it would affect your performance. No, because it no, gets anxious. It would make me anxious. Oh, bed. okay. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, how the fuck is vodka not going to affect <laughs> no, your performance? It makes you warm and fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, like li- I'm not getting like drunk. It's just like enough to kind of like take the edge off when you have like a lot of shit going. On. Like I, I don't have anxiety and I've never had any issues with it before. I'm usually like I don't get stressed or I'm pretty calm overall. It must be nice. But I had Should my first anxiety, trip. my first anxiety attack this year. Um, and not fun. Yeah, 2019 was great. Um, but <laughs> I had my first anxiety attack where I think it was like in August or September. Um, I woke up. It was like me and Annie sleeping in bed. It was like 2 a.m. Yeah. I wake up and for some reason my mind was just like you're not at a 90 degree angle and i had no idea what this meant but i just knew something was wrong so i keep trying to like reposition myself to sleep i can't get yeah. into a comfortable position and then like annie was sleeping you, next you to me 180 degrees by the way or no? yeah, I, 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 I don't know control no like this of... is literally what my mind said was just oh. 90 degrees i was like okay, i don't yeah. know what this means but i was trying to figure it out and like i just knew i had to be straight so yeah. i guess like 180 whatever 
Um, we had to be straight. I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> about that. Yeah. As you said something about it. <laughs> we already touched on this. Yeah. Um, but so Annie was sleeping next to me, and then she was like slightly tilted on her side, and I like normally sleep on my back or my front. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I have to like sleep on my back, and then I kept looking at her and being like, she's not sleeping on her back. Like it was just freaking me out for some reason. <laughs> and <like> bangs in. <laughs> so like I just I knew something was wrong, and I couldn't process what it was i knew if i woke up annie she'd just be like just calm down but i yeah. knew that wouldn't work so i just went into the other room mm-hmm. went on the Walk it off on the couch and i just tried to sleep there but i still couldn't do it because the couch is like slightly slanted so when i was trying to sleep yep. straight i felt off and i was like this is something's not right here and the only way i could fall back asleep is i had to put on music and like force myself to sing along with the lyrics until I, just, I, fell, I fell asleep. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't even remember it. falling asleep. You need ambient noise to fall asleep. That's, that was, uh, I was a really fucking creepy experience for me. Yeah. Cause yeah, like man. my sister has always had anxiety before. And I like, I know there's a whole stereotype of just saying like, just relax. Mm-hmm. And whenever she would tell me that stuff, I'd be like, I don't know how to relate to this. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah. in my mind, I would just tell myself to relax. And when I had it, I was like, Oh, this when is it's happening, like. it is very hard to just chill. Yeah, it's and just it's like, very scary. Like, it, feels I, like, it feels like the entire world's crashing in around all, you. Like, all everything this year, bad's going to happen. I've had like anxiety with like thinking I was having heart attacks. Shit. Like I went to, you guys, I'm pr- pretty sure I told you this. Like, yeah. I went to doctors. They had me like go through stress tests. They're like, dude, like go run a marathon. Your heart's fine. Yeah. And then it's just like, yeah, but like I'd wake up just like, holy fuck, I'm having a heart attack. And like, you're fine. But that was the other just thing. can't chill. When I, I could feel my heart or like. I could feel it inside beating like crazy, but when I would put my hand over, I couldn't feel it. It's because I'd be getting like, I well, mm. like I have still too, but like I'll get like palpitations. I'm like, holy fuck, this is like the start yeah, of the yeah. end. Of it. Yeah. But then like, <laughs> the start of the you, end. you drink some water, you burp a couple times and you end up being fine. But it's yeah. just like it, in that moment, it's like so. See, I've never been, I've never had an anxiety attack, but mm. anything like that, you got to calm down. It's just like deep breaths and like focus on like your fingertips or your toes or something. Yeah. And that's, that's how he got me like, through my sprained ankle. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I was like, this guy's actually, life. I was, I was literally about I to like, this guy's life. I'm pretty yeah, sure I was about 100%. to black out. I didn't hear he, this okay, part. Okay. So when he, he, he came down and then when you realize it's serious, I was like, I was like, okay, stand up. Let's see if what happens. And he just about passes out. And then he's just from standing up. Yeah. Yeah. So then he's okay. Oh, obviously him. you can see in his face, like he's just draining. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, sit back down. We'll see what happens. And then like, I don't know what happened. Like Christian. And he's just like staring at me, but there's nothing there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And ghost, that, all I said was like, show. just focus on your breath. You'll get through this. Yeah. And then slowly, like it takes a second. He's just staring at me and like five seconds go by. And then slowly you see him like try to breathe again. And then he came back. They're but literally just in shock. He was like, like a second away from just going to sleep. Yeah. And I, I don't know what it was. Cause like my sprain wasn't that severe, but I think it's because when I tried walking back, I was putting all my weight on my yeah. foot as I was walking. It's, you're, it's you're like something you're not used to. You're just, yeah. you're trying you're just to convince shock, yourself that up. it's normal. And mm-hmm. then you're like, holy fuck, it's not normal. I'm dead. Mm-hmm. So but yeah, he like, like saved his life. I was about to pass out. <laughs> what, what, was, what did people around you guys say? Nothing, because like, we were we were kind of in our like own bubble. I, I wasn't oh. watching anyone else. There was a bunch of people there, but I'm pretty sure they didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, so I was gonna say it's always, too, it's always right? a, yeah. no, no. I had no adrenaline. Well, for me, it was like when I busted my knee. You, you played football. football. Right I finished almost the rest of the game because I did, didn't feel it. Mm-hmm. Well, not like I got injured and I was like, it feels kind of weird, but it's whatever. I played like another probably 15 or so minutes. And then because like defense came off the field and then I was like, man, my knee's really starting to fucking hurt. And that's when I tried to start putting weight on it. And I'm like, ah, it's getting worse and worse every time I think about it. Mm-hmm. And then I go and like kick my leg up and like my coach is looking at it and he's just, and he's just like, yeah, like your knee looks pretty fucked. It was like starting to turn blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's when I, like once I had my helmet off and I would like, and I had kind of cooled off and yeah. then I was like, my knee is really fucked up right now. But literally like, Right when it happened, I was like, oh, this is nothing. No, I had none of that. Like, I was like, really? I couldn't even feel shock the second he landed. I, I literally, I, I, because I fell off the top of the back wall and like basically crumpled as oh, I fell. Gosh. Like I fell on my foot, crumpled on the ground and like stood up. I was like, what the fuck? And I tried <laughs> yeah, walking yeah. away because the it's mats, right? Yeah. So imagine trying to walk on a mat with a sprained ankle. You just like, crawled your, off. Your foot's like An going uneven out. surface. Yeah. So I was like, I was like half hobbled off, half crawled. That's probably like the most pain you felt ever, wouldn't it have been? Oh yeah. I've, I've never yeah. broken anything. So. It's like when I messed up my lip, I literally just thought my braces cut my lip. Like that was yeah. it. Like I saw blood 
but like it didn't seem. I like hate it's blood like, so much, especially coming out of like me. It's like oh god. Yeah, I literally just thought like I cut it, and I was like, oh man, gotta gotta like use some saline or something. Yeah. I like, can't you know. do blood in any extent or like gore. None of that for me. <laughs> it's like video game, whatever. Real life, like man, blood is like. Bree's a fucking psychopath. She'll watch Grey's Anatomy while eating dinner. And I'm Ew, just like, my mom does that too. Hard pass. My mom's always like, you play such violent video games, and I walk up, there's just some dude getting his stomach chopped up on a doctor. <laughs> She's show. watching Saw. <laughs> Literally, it's like PG Saw, these yeah. doctor shows. Whereas yours is just in a computer. Yeah, it's just Kool-Aid. That's all it is. That's what yeah. I tell myself. <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, not to get too political, but like the whole uh, Donald Trump statement about, or he's just like, oh, we live in a culture now where everyone's so desensitized to violence because of video games. And he was like trying to be like, we need to put a stop to these violent yeah, video it's... games because he was blaming the shootings on violent video Man, games. And then you come back to Arma where you guys should, or Arma, I don't know. The, the, the the second book from the guy who made Ready Player One, hundred percent read it. Great book. Even if you don't Ready read, Player read One, it. is that was that a book first, then a movie? No, no. I literally can't read. <laughs> your hat say Dude, not, <laughs> not, that now Jews is discriminating against people who yeah, can't read. The the, all the illiterate people. You racist. can read. <laughs> you know this. Racist, discriminatory. Just not very well. <laughs> Stanim- Stanima. Stanima. Yeah. Spell it out. Stamina. Pacific. Look for any pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a great book. Like the whole thing. Well, I mean, I don't want to ruin it, but cool. it has to do with video games and war, and it's sick. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, we're almost at an hour and a half, Huge. so yeah. probably want to happy wrap New it Year. up here. Yeah, happy New Year, everybody. I guess to summarize, our drink lots of predictions, water on the first predictions. I don't know why like we had to do the dying, two. but I have Don Cherry. You yeah. have Betty White. Leafs in five. <laughs> what? <laughs> Leafs dying in five. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, Super Bowl prediction. I mean, I have to get it out of the way now. Baltimore, Baltimore Ravens are going to beat the San Francisco 49ers twenty four sixteen. Fly Balt- Eagles, fly Packers. Fuck the Packers. Oh, that's a good. That's a good bet though. I I'm only Packers. Baltimore because Ravens. I never fuck them. The Packers. Baltimore Ravens versus San Francisco. 49ers. The New Orleans Saints. Nah, because the Vikings are going to beat them first, <laughs> and then the Vikings are going to lose to the Niners in the, in the conference. Yikes! Um, Stanley Cup. You're all voting Leafs. I want I want to say the Leafs, but my gut is telling me the Blues are going to repeat. I genuinely think the Bruins will win, but I want the Leafs to win. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going Leafs, Bruins. Leafs, Bruins. I think that this is the least depth the Bruins have ever had in the last like, five years. You know what? Yeah, but they still have Chara, who's just being a fucking pile. He's slow on. as hell. Florida, though. Arizona, final. Oh, Zona with Taylor. Taylor Hall is going to score 50 goals between now and the Stanley yeah. Cup final. Yeah, man, that Taylor Hall and Phil Kessel. Yeah. <laughs> what a line. Woo! Or Subban's going to score. Subban's going to get traded to Toronto for biscuits, and then Toronto's going to win. <laughs> Toronto's going to win every game between now Jesus. and the final. Yeah, especially with Muzzy out. Yeah. Fuck Jake Muzzy. I don't dude. think you guys are even speaking English anymore. We're speaking Canadian English. All right, we got our sport talk out. Yeah. You're good. That's it. Bang. Finito. Energy. Okay. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Well, I guess paying <laughs> energy. Is that you said? Yeah. That's the account that sponsors all like the non-verified models. Yeah. 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 Um, one of you guys is gonna have to remember all of this for next year because <laughs> we're gonna That's revise. Actually, it. We got uh, a video log of it. Yeah, yeah. I have a video log, and I know my, I have my sports stuff locked up for sure. And someone will remind. I us. tweeted my sport, my my yeah. prediction. Actually, there's definitely gonna be someone who's gonna be like, um, exactly a year ago on January first podcast yeah. at exactly one hour and twenty six minutes in, you said this. I'm pretty sure the Shit. last comment or the last podcast had like a record amount of comments. Also, I'll pull it up. I, I, I people, commented like seven times. That's true. I well, let's just keep go doing into that. The comments and just like start roasting people. No, no don't no, okay, what? Bitch. I, I do. It was want, a nice action. Shane, like a Shane and I though. interact. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, I go to, to Frankenmuth. I'm like, no way. And he's like, yes way. And then Shane took over. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I do want to start like adding a segment where we talk about like at least a one comment. comment. No, I really well, can that. you read out the top comment from the last video? Because it fucking like usually like you don't you read comments you don't genuinely laugh. Yeah. It genuinely made me laugh. I love all like, the millionaire one. Yeah. I laughed, <laughs> okay. I laughed he said, so hard. You guys need one of those cool neon signs, smiley face. Heard they cost a shit ton though, but that obviously doesn't face <laughs> multi-millionaire Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this killed from me. Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> Just, or I guess knows. his name's like it's like Reinhardt but Leonard so like what? Leonard what? Leonard Regardless. Leonard with a T at the end Kill. Leonard Reinhardt no like Leonard but just add a T what Leonard, does that have to do with uh, Reinhardt Le- Leonard <laughs> like uh, he's, he's he's using Reinhardt, Reinhardt to compare it Leonard but um yeah I, I do want to do like stuff like that, that adding comment. a we'll comment just, 
bring up the ones we like like that comment genuinely made Doesn't me laugh I, I laughed <laughs> and i'm pretty sure i sent it to drew after <laughs> i think i saw or, it first uh, but yeah I, think I just need to find more married woman to hit on in the comment section <laughs> all right you know who you are yeah <laughs> show comment, yourself, yeah, show yourself. down below rebel reply <laughs> hi i'm a married woman smiley face we'll try, <laughs> we'll try and reel them in but it's good thing. it's gonna be like 30 just like dudes <laughs> yeah. 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 leonard yeah. leonard's in there yeah, leonard's it's gonna be like, boys I finally, I finally found a sick girlfriend i just have to drive to fucking maine to meet her and you pay yeah. them ten thousand dollars yeah and give her ten thousand there's like one genuine uh unhappy married woman who's trying to get with rob <laughs> like, no you're trolls <laughs> And All that's right. Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Leonard. <laughs> now I do want to get one of those neon signs. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, we need, oh, when, when are the things coming in? Oh, yeah. I want to add that in. Last thing. Um, vite, vite, I was going to tell you about it. Um, so I ordered audio panels for the walls. And I went on the website to track it. I ordered it like November 29th. It was in Mississauga on December 16th. So I was like, okay, took like two weeks to get there. And mm-hmm. I was looking at it two days ago or so. It was like December 26th. I'm like, it took two weeks to get to Mississauga from Hong Kong. But how's it taking almost two weeks to get from Mississauga to us? <laughs> the price, so, the price I'm just someone's apartment right now. It's well, being used for yeah. a bit. Well, so I was sitting there. I was like, it, like maybe it got stuck somewhere. And I was just looking at my phone. Those were the only two things it showed. It was like Hong Kong, Mississauga. That's it. Eventually, so I pulled it up. China, bro. I eventually pulled it up on my desktop. And it showed like racist, 18 man. different logs. And showed everything. And apparently, when I ordered it through PayPal, PayPal didn't add my apartment number, even though it's on there. So it just instead of go damn it, Elon. Instead of calling me or messaging me like a normal postal service delivery does, it they just ship. Yet. They shipped it back. It's what? In, it's in Hong Kong now. So no. I, so I contacted them and they're like, when we get it back, we'll ship it out again. Just give us like the apartment number. That's awful. So Shit. like now it's, it's Canada Post. Yeah, it's it's fucking Canada Post. <laughs> you should all be just troll people. It's because they're so, all like, on strike. Yeah. Well, I, for no fucking reason. I, I've had issues with this before because it happens all the time where it just does not add my apartment <laughs> number. Mm-hmm. But every single time they always call me and say, what's your apartment number? We'll, we're shipping out today. They never fucking called. That's jokes. Man, I remember one time like, I ordered, or were you going to say? Well, I returned a pair of pants from Gap and I was calling the lady and she's like, yeah, would you like to use Canada Post or UPS? I'm like, honestly, neither. <laughs> she was just like dying. <laughs> Bullshit. I, I ordered the jacket and then it came, it got all of Mississauga, then went back to New Jersey and then came back to Mississauga. <laughs> I was like, well, just give me my fucking jacket, people. <laughs> the jacket's traveled more than me this year. It's going <laughs> above and but like it's, it's going right over me every time. It's being tried on by like every single person <laughs> in there and here. Like, fuck. The God. pilot's just wearing it. It's <laughs> a nice Alabama jacket. <laughs> Yeah. All right. We'll end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year. None Endless of the happy none new comments year. made in this video. Merry or uh, Happy New Year. Have a good bar mitzvah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Have fun being baptized. Don't get drowned. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>